Hey everybody, welcome back to Outward. We had just gotten squashed by a couple of enemies in this Face of the Ancients dungeon. But we've also got quite a bit of loot too from the elementals we were able to defeat. Uh, we were getting these, obsidian shards, chunk of fire infused glass, used to craft bludgeoning weapons. So I am probably going to end up selling those. I hope they sell for quite a bit. And I think we're going to get out of here. I'm going to come back, obviously. But those enemies were pretty tough, and there's two of them down there, and we don't have a quest to be here or anything. Sometimes in Outward, I have to remind myself that I don't have to push through a dungeon to the end just because I stepped into it. And for me, that's kind of a weird way of thinking. I have to remind myself, hey, you can go back later. So that's what we're going to do in this case. Cleared a little bit of it. It's very interesting. I think there's probably a lot more down there going on. And we will come back and get the idol. These guys are so creepy. But we're not going to do it right now. Because we have actual quests to do and more pressing matters. Like nations on the verge of war. So we're going to head up into the Hallowed Marsh. And work on the quest for Rissa. And that's Blood Under the Sun, no, Ash Giants. So she wants us to recruit the Ash Giants to our cause. Which probably isn't going to be easy. Maybe we will end up doing quest for them. Either way, we'll find out soon enough. And it'll basically be the first time that we've stepped foot into the Hallowed Marsh. I think I zoned in once a long time ago but didn't stay. We need to heal up, and I think the butterflies down here are going to be a great place to do that. I wonder if that's in their radius of effects. I hear the, the twinkling sound, so yeah, it looks like we're good. And we don't want to sleep too long, because I don't want to burn too much more mana. Let's take care of our thirst. We fought creatures like this before, these mechanical dogs. Well, here we go, boys. Into the Hallowed Marsh. What terrors await us? Well, you probably know better than I. I believe there are undead here. Listen to the music for a minute. Huh. I love the music in this game. I need to say that. Because I have the thought often, but I don't usually say anything about it. But yeah, the music in Outward is amazing. To me, comparable only to Final Fantasy soundtracks and other Squaresoft titles, honestly. Yeah, it just works with me, you know? I love it. Okay, let's take a look at the map. That's not where we came in. We came in over here, so if we're heading... Ooh, look at this place, though. Very interesting. We could head north and check this out, but... That's the city of Monsoon. This is the city of the Giants, or the Giants Village. Okay, so to get up there, we're gonna have to go south. Around the Spire of Light, potentially? It's going to be a long road. And there will likely be things to check out on the way.
I just wonder... We should be heading probably a little bit more southwest. Oh. We've got action up here. And I don't really know how tough they're going to be. With us being in a new zone, they could be a lot harder than we're used to. Let's do some defense. Get that going. And we're also going to need our lantern. Alright, uh, I think they might see us over here casting, so... All right, well, they're serious. But we could be serious too. Uh, they have an archer who we've accidentally targeted. Uh, they are not kidding around. Dodge! Whoa! Let's drop this bag right now before we uh, have any more issues. Yeah. We need to do a couple of things. Eat it. Alright, let's finish him off with a little bit of melee. Yeah, they hit hard. They hit hard, but it's okay. We can heal a little bit. If we have mana. Which we don't. So where's our bag at? There it is. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> Well, let's loot these guys. Firstly, let's loot. Then we're going to lay down our tent and rest a little bit. Ash filter mask. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool looking. I thought I saw a long sword lay there. That might be it. All right, so let's check this stuff out. Obviously, we don't need some of these uh, resistances. It's heavily resistant to poison, so we'll have to keep that in mind. It has some cold weather and hot weather resistances, and it just makes us look pretty freaking cool. I don't know. I obviously we need the uh, mana reduction right now, but that's a pretty cool looking helmet if I do say so. Let's get a couple hours of rest and let's repair. Those guys were definitely tougher than the bandits that we might encounter in places like Shersonis or even in Emakar Forest, so we might quickly discover that we have to do some other things, but for now we're going to proceed with the idea that it's okay to be here. And we're going to check out the city. Oh god, these guys are just dense.
This guy's got quite a guard going on. And he's going to burn through our stamina pretty soon here. Let's just uh, finish him up. Ho! Oh. Yeah, these guys are not kidding around. Not at all. This might be a trick we have to pull often because without a a box or a home, we can't pull out any more of our potions, so. Two hours seems to be a magical number when it comes to mana and not burning a lot of mana. All right, well, we've stepped about seven feet into the zone, and we've already had to clear three bandits, and they've all been pretty tough. And let me guess, there were butterflies or something right up here we could have uh, been using, huh? Oh, look at that. Just right out in the open. We don't really use a lot of oil these days. Uh, these things are following us now. You guys are seeing this, correct? That's a little weird. Uh, it didn't give us any kind of status effects or anything, so... I'm gonna just go with the concept that it's totally fine. Marshmallow? Heavy marsh fruit that restores far more stamina than gabberies. These raw melons gain anti-poison properties when boiled. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that thing. That's probably stuff I'd rather avoid, but... How long are we going to be able to avoid encounters like that? What are we looking at here? We're looking at... The Spire of Light. And I don't really know what this is. It's not where we need to go, but I'm going to see if we can pass through this. It doesn't look like we can. Yeah. That's an impenetrable barrier, if ever I saw one. So, obviously, this place is not open to us right now. Which begs the question... Can we get where we're going? from entering from Emikar Forest, or do we have to enter from Sharsanis? Because then we could kind of go like this, and we could bypass that. But we don't seem to be able to get anywhere across this bridge. So I'm thinking that this, uh, this is not the way to go, potentially. Huh, we're kind of isolated here, you know what I mean? That's really strange. I wonder what is here that we would ever want to come here. Besides just enemies that seem like they can trounce us pretty easily. Let's head up here and check out wherever this road leads. I don't know why these little guys are following me, these lights. But it seems fine. They're giving us illumination, so that's always good. It doesn't seem to be tied to whether or not my lantern is up. Oh boy.
Whoa. I thought there were two of them. Did we take out the other one? I guess we did. Yeah, our bag is getting heavy, obviously. We've been uh, looting a lot of humanoids. And so we might have to take care of that. We do have some room in our pocket. About three pounds. We could drop some things. I want to keep the recurve bow. Could at least sell for quite a bit. This we could probably turn into linen. And I think we need everything else we have. Well, we really don't need the bed rolls. All right, that will have to do for now. Blade Dancer. Did the humans defeat this guy and that's why they were damaged as we walked up? Wow, that's uh, pretty nice. Poison resist, negative 10 to lightning resist. 10% reduced mana cost. Yeah, they're better than what we have. They, yeah, they're they're better than what we have, I guess. Unless, unless we're up against a lightning-based enemy, I guess. Cool, okay. We'll take it. It's not the road. We do need to get on the road, I guess, to head north, but... Okay, that's Chasm. Okay, is this where it's leading us? I guess it is. And yeah, I'm purely just investigating this. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to double back. And we're probably gonna have to come from Shersanis, it looks like, to get anywhere useful because we can't penetrate the, the barrier. But since we're here, we're gonna check this out because this seems to be the only reason to come over here is to access whatever this is. So that's the door, anything else? Um, I can't see what's there. Oh shit! Holy god! Alright. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Let's get inside. Oh my god. That thing came right at us. Right out of those bushes. Okay, at least we're not being attacked right away. That's fine. Jade Lich's idol is required. Hmm. This place looks like it only has about one million ways to go. I wonder if we're going to have access to any of them right now. I don't seem to be able to interact with that. But we can interact with this one.
Alright, well... I need mana. That's... That's kind of become obvious. I don't know how camouflage we're going to be right here, but... We're going to go for our two hours. One hour? Of actual rest? Let's see what that gets us. Maybe enough to take on this one skeleton. Yeah, that did good. It don't, so we only need about one hour to restore our mana. There's probably not a lot of point in sleeping longer than that. We were about to be thirsty. Let's just do that now. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Why is it telling me that I can't do this now? Very, very strange. We don't have the lantern up. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I didn't realize the lantern had despawned, so... Let's go ahead and get that going again. And we'll chuck a potion. What are the odds we can open this door? Zip. Okay. That would be too easy. Can't just walk in and get a loot. That did something. Did it open this door for us? It sure did. That's great. Uh, unfortunately, most of the stuff in here is going to be too heavy for me to want to even carry it. Yeah, it's going to have to be cooler than that for me to take it. At this point, we're running way too heavy. I'm just carrying way too many weapons, but I want to sell all this stuff. And I probably shouldn't delve too deeply in here, but that guy wasn't too much to handle. Uh, we could definitely use this stuff, like 100%. That's amazing. Mineral tea? I don't think we've seen this before. Concoction that increases impact resistance and cures indigestion. It also... Okay, maybe we have. We just haven't had it for a while. Uh, and Miasmapod. Rare marsh octopus, which closes wounds but poisons the eater. It also instantly cures infections, but will be poisoned. And more palladium scrap for wherever we can... Now that's a question I could ask you guys that's not really spoilery. Where do I go to have someone craft with the palladium? Obviously with my build, we're probably not going to want that. We're going to want some kind of either... Well, maybe we could craft something like what we have on, I don't know. But so far I haven't seen any crafters offer to make gear using palladium. In, in either city we've been in, so... Likely one of the cities we're trying to get to will have somebody who can do it. Um... Okay, wait. No, we already cleared this. Or Are there two? Yeah, there's... Oh, this is what we left. Okay, I'm losing it. Let's get out of here, possibly. Before we end up here too long... Let's also take our tent. Oh, that did something. But, you know, part of me just wants to keep exploring. But there's a lot of problems with that. 
we don't have any inventory space left. We probably aren't ready to be here yet. And we could die at any moment. What is this stuff? It's obviously some kind of ancient machinery. I just wonder at the purpose of these structures sometimes. We never really find anything inside of them that lets us know what their use was, who designed them. But they paint a really interesting visual picture. And you can't help but think why. What was this used for when it was used? Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that we can't get in there. Uh, this guy looks a little crazy. Okay, so. Again, we could come back. And we should come back. But I don't think we're ready to be here yet. Yeah, we keep opening doors, so. We're going to spend the entire episode in here, but I'm going to keep saying that we... Okay, let's let's figure this guy out. Yeah, I don't have any interest in that. Wow, 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 wow. He is way too tough for our physical attacks. Yeah. That's not good. Lights out for us. Well, we were doing okay when we were relying on magic with that guy, but... He really withstood our physical attacks. And was pretty devastating. I have no real interest in reading the interlude, sorry if that's something you guys really like. Uh, I just want to know where we're going to end up because we're kind of screwed. We don't have our bag, so I'm going back in. Unless our bag was outside with us. Uh, either way, either way we're a little screwed. It looks like our bag's right here. Like, okay, like let me get my bag for Christ's sake. This is kind of bullshit. So we had to kill him. Jesus, okay. I hate when you have to go back in and the guy's right there or they respawn you right where the enemy is. Jade Scimitar. Um, okay, well this might be like the hand of fate stepping in because that's pretty cool. <laughs> all in all. It doesn't change my feelings about respawning or having to step right back in when the enemy is kind of waiting for us. So we were unconscious outside presumably for hours, right? We were thirsty, we're hungry, we're dizzy. Why was the guy just chilling there waiting for us? Why wouldn't he reset to his normal patterns of behavior during that time? But it's okay. We got in. We finished him off. And everything is good. We also got some kind of weapon out of it, which we'll check out here. What did we loot? I don't even know. It was a jade sword. Haha. -ha. Went into our pockets. The only really good thing about this. Whoops. Is that. It reduces our mana cost when we have it equipped. Okay, well, that's neat. We shouldn't really be using a weapon at all, I guess. 
Um, however, the extra... Let's, let's just drop some stuff, huh? Let's do that. Uh, because we're gonna have to. Why did that unequip? We might have to book it, because there was that guy standing right out here as well. So let's just get away from him and get the safety, and then we're probably going to need to rest. There he is. Luckily, he has not noticed us. Alright, let's go ahead and pitch our tent here, shall we? And we're going to take a rest, and I'm going to take a little break here. When we come back, we will be entering the Halod Marsh from the Cher Sinise. And I don't think I'll subject you guys to that journey unless something really cool happens, and then I'll, I'll cut it in into probably the next episode if anything happens. But most likely when we resume, we'll just be entering from here. And then we'll head over to the giant ruins. We'll, we'll hit the whole route, so we'll just try to make sure we have enough space in our bags to journey this long path and see all there is to see along the way. And basically what I mean by that is take everything there is to take along the way. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate the support. Take care and wish me luck.